Okay. This can be it. This game is for all the marbles. This could be it for the Houston Rockets. And it can be it for Harold Johnson's uh, Xbox version. I don't know. I'm actually still contemplating because the Xbox has been doing fine. I've been contemplating keeping him on here. So, there's actually a chance I might keep him on here. Just saying. There's a chance I might just play out my contract with the Heat and then do something else with um, Harold. So, I'm actually contemplating that. So, he might just stay here because, knock on wood, the Xbox has been vibing. It's been very good. But, welcome back to this Harold Johnson My Career. I want to cut this intro short. I just want to let you know that we are going into a possible elimination game. Because this is a three-game series. First team to win two games wins it all. We're going into Houston for this game. So, we could win it on the Rockets' home floor. Or, the Rockets could, I say this in quotations, upset us in this game. So, let's go out and get Harold and Chris Paul and Jimmy Butler and nearly every single player on this Heat team their first NBA championship. And we are here in Houston for game two. What could be the last game of the NBA Finals going up against the Houston Rockets? If you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. As I'm recording this, we are at 499 subscribers. We're one away. There's a very good chance that when this is uploaded, we'll hit 500 subscribers. So if we did, thank you very much. Uh, but if we didn't, one more away, and that one more could be you. But we are here in Houston. Game 2 of the NBA Finals. We're wearing the all-black jerseys because this is going to be a funeral. We are determined to win this game and be crowned NBA champions. A redemption year after losing to the 8th seeded Nets last year. Harold's second season with the Heat. His second time in the NBA Finals. His first time, it was his rookie season, and he was injured. So hopefully this time's different. Jer Harold is all healthy. Going up against James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Let's get it going. Uh, oh, Hassan with the defense. Um, I don't know why he's in the starting lineup. I'm guessing I did that after last game after uh, Mitchell Robinson played like a complete bum. But I was about to say, like, he just got out-rebounded. But he did play defense, so I'm not complaining. We got we got five seconds. Oh, Tyler Hero. Shot clock cheese? Nah, figures. Hassan with the offensive rebound. Put it up. Uh, you definitely could have put that up in time. You just, you know, chose not to. Hassan comes at the screen. I didn't know you were going to start this game. I didn't know I was going to take that shot and make it. Gorgie Dan gets blocked by Hassan. That's what we need. Mitchell Robinson wasn't doing that last game for us. And Jimmy Butler was starting off where he left off last game by leaving Westbrook open for three. He hit three three-pointers, Jimmy, last game. So you got to realize that. And one! I'll take the offense, though. Give me that steal. Give me that steal. Come on. I'm running the floor. Oh, yeah. he He's going to contest that. Wow. James Harden really somehow caught up to me and contested it. Now Jimmy's on him. I'm stuck on Westbrook. Come on, Jimmy. Defense. Great defense. Firing on all cylinders. No one else is catching up to me this time. Lay it in. We are on an 8-0 run to start off this game, too. Rockets need to get something going for them. And another steal. That's not what the Rockets need. Jimmy Butler, throw it down. We're killing him. 10-0 run. Westbrook gets space again. He's going to miss, though. He's not making his shots tonight. Jimmy Butler. Tyler Hero for three. And it's buckets. 13-0 run. I was about to say 3-0 run, but it's a lot more than that. For Miami in this game, the Rockets are no match. Oh, James Harden, double step back. It hits. It was contested, too. But the Rockets finally get their first points of the game. Yes, of the game. I'm in the paint, and I'm throwing up the layup. This is way too easy right now. I'm just going to show the sliders real quick. Uh, they're not in favor of me. These are the CPU sliders. These are actually higher than Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is everything on 55. So this is what the CPU sliders for the CPU look like. And this is ours. This is ours. As you can see, the three-point sliders is the same, but everything else is lower. Everything else is on 50, except mid-range is on 55. So it's definitely, definitely not, uh, you know, the sliders. The CPU sliders are extremely, extremely heavily overpowered compared to ours. Oh, I'm getting subbed out here. We're up by 11, and we're up by 23. Holy moly. Kendrick Nunn just bodied Westbrook. He's got 18 points. 
This man trying to take finals MVP from me. Give me that. He ain't taking it, especially if I'm getting steals like this. James Harden got that layup to go. Wow, okay, Kendrick Nunn. Uh, I'm just going to mention this right now. I mean, look at the score. We're going to be up by 30. Uh, Off-season-wise, uh, I, I, this has already been confirmed in numerous episodes. Uh, Chris Paul's gone. He's not gonna. He's on his last year of the deal. We don't need him. We have Kendrick Nunn. So, Chris Paul is sadly... That's going to be it for him. I'm not saying this game's over, but the whole point was to get him a chance. Really? You're going to leave me this open? You're going to leave me that open? We're now up... Oh, we're still up by 29. All right. Uh, but yeah, Chris Paul, my whole point was to get him at least one championship. Couldn't do it in OKC. Brought him to Miami. Couldn't do it in Season 1 due to the Nets. Uh, season 2, it's looking like it's possible. As I'm pulling up for a dump shot, but it's still buckets. So... The whole point was to bring him a championship, and he hasn't been good this season, and he's been atrocious in the playoffs, so he's definitely not coming back. And um, I'm, f I'm kind of shady on the whole Mitchell Robinson situation. I'm not sure if he's going to come back or not, but we'll figure that out um, next episode of this. We'll figure that whole thing out. Oh, my God, dude. This is way too easy. We're up by 30. Oh, I'm getting subbed out. All right, that makes sense. We're up by, like, 28. And we nearly scored 90 points and a half. 85 points. I think that's an NBA record for most points and a half in the NBA Finals. I'll probably put it up on the screen. Wow. All right, Westbrook's actually balling the hell out. Jimmy, what are you doing? You gave this man 26 points. I meant to pass that to Bam. I wish Hassan had the awareness to pass it to him, but he didn't. His Bam was wide open. Now he is again. Bam at a bio. I'm about to drop 20 assists in this game. It's nearly guaranteed. This is why Westbrook has... 26 points, whatever the hell he has. Because he just keeps getting left open like that. I guarantee... Jimmy with the spin! That was filthy! Bam with the rebound! I, I'm not putting that up. No way in hell. Hero with the ball. Give it to me. I'm the distributor. I'm also the person that takes the worst shots. Westbrook's got 28. Jimmy's not playing the greatest defense. But Russ is also biting him on some plays. That should go in, and it does go in. 36 points, 107 points, and we still got five minutes left to play in this third. We're only halfway through this third quarter, and we've already scored 20 points in it. Wow. This is just insane. Jimmy with the steal? Yes, he does. Kendrick Nunn gives out to me. Oh, that's a bucket and a half. Oh, my. I'm sorry you guys have to witness a blowout. I thought, I thought this was going to be a lot closer. I mean, it's up down. We have 170 points. We're going to score 120 in three quarters. Yup, we have 134 points right now. And we're almost up by 40. This is just insane, man. I'm about to drop a 40-20, possibly a 50-20 game in this. It's over, by the way. There's no way they come back. They're down by 39. There's, there's literally no chance. So I, I have a chance to drop 50-20 game in the elimination game of the NBA Finals. Talk about a GOAT. Talk about a GOAT. This is it. I got 49 points. I'm running down the court. I got Wayne Ellington in the paint. This is for 50. I'm getting 50 at the free throw line. We have 150 points as a team. This is it. 50 points in the NBA final. All right, we got to make it a little bit dramatic. We want to get 50 on the dot. We want to get 50 on the dot. Green Bean, 50.6 rebounds. Now... Three more assists, and I got a 50-20 game. No way in hell I'm getting this. I might get a triple-double if they keep missing. FK Udo! FK... No, that's Derek Jones! Holy crap! I'm actually two rebounds away from a trip dub. So that's dope. Jimmy Butler mid-range? He's missing. I don't think I'm going to get these 20 assists. Just because, you know, it's 2K. But, I mean, there's a chance for me to get a triple-double. There's a chance for me to get a triple-double! Very, very good chance. Tyler Hero, pull up. He hits it. Can I get a 50-20 triple-double? Am I going ahead of myself? I need one rebound and one assist. It's not impossible. It's really not. They got Milton in the post. Uh, that's all for James Harden. If I'm stuck guarding James Harden on the perimeter, I'm not going to be able to get rebounds. Like like I did all game. That's go that, that was going to be... 420 assist, but Bam the Bio decided to go towards the 3-point line. And they sub back in the bums. Are you kidding me? At least I could have a better chance of getting a rebound, but another assist? I don't know. Come on, one of you just chuck up a shot. I mean, you're not getting much playing time. It's the NBA Finals. He greens it, too, with the weird-ass jump shot. 
Derek Jones, please get me my 20 assists. Nope, figures. I'm not going to get it. I know. Just because that's how 2K works. Take a dumb shot. Take a dumb shot. There we go. Triple double. Triple double. Okay, there we go. Derek Jones, you can do it right here. Keep cutting. Keep cutting. Derek Jones, shoot. Why didn't you shoot it? Derek, I was holding. I was holding the button for the life of me. Pass it back. Someone get open. What? You guys, why are you playing me with the bums? This is it. 12 seconds left. Chris Paul, keep cutting. Keep cutting, Chris. Turnover. That's it. That's how it ends. That's how it freaking ends. That's that's how it ends. Three seconds left. We won the NBA championship. If Derrick Jones just shot it when I hit X, we would have scored 160 points, and I would have got a 50-point, 20-assist triple-double. Doesn't matter. We finally did it. We are finally NBA champions after three years in the league. Harold gets his ring. Jimmy Butler gets his ring. And Chris Paul is finally an NBA champion. We did it. Rookie year, we got injured when we played 58 games. We got swept in the finals by the Bucks. Year two, we had to face Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving as the eighth seed. Year three, Harold and Jimmy go on a tear through the playoffs, swept every round, I believe. And we hear NBA championship shattering records on our way. Bam out of bio holding the trophy. And I am finals MVP as I should. What a series, what a playoff run. Now the Heat have some big choices in free agency since we have some contract extensions coming up. Big, big free agency coming up as NBA champions. Being NBA champions and being in a high popular market like Miami, we're in some big free agents. You never know. But for the Rockets, Westbrook tried. He had 30 points. He tried his best. He, did, he shot Westbrook type numbers, but he really did try. Shake Milton was their second leading scorer with 20. James Harden. James Harden, man. Game one, he only had 22 points on 9 for 21 shooting. And in game two, he scores an abysmal 13 points. Choke. He choked. He made it to the finals and he choked. Cameron Payne actually had 13 points. Gorgie Dang, 8. See? Bro, we put Hassan in the starting lineup and he didn't even do good. For the Heat, though, 50 points, 11 rebounds, 19 assists, and 5 steals for Harold. 21 for 29 shooting, 5 for 8 from the 3-point line. Jimmy Butler, 33 points, 13 for 17 shooting. He balled out. We scored a combined 83 points. If you throw in Kendrick Nunn off the bench... Who did everything for us. We scored a combined 104 points. 21, 5, and 8 for Kendrick Nunn. Tyler Hero only 11, but he, he did shoot very efficient. Bam, a double-double with 4 assists and 3 blocks. Chris Paul, 10 and 6 in his first ever championship game. Well, not his first ever, like his first championship. You know what I mean. He actually had a very good game off the bench. Derek Jones, 10 points, but he couldn't make that last shot for me. We did it. Undefeated in the NBA playoffs. Harold Johnson, finals of MP, averaging 53 points, 8.5 rebounds, 19 assists. That's going to be for me. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new. GG.